Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is an important video today because one of the biggest issues with the Amazon Fire Stick is storage capacity. And there's three mistakes that a lot of people make when it comes to their Fire Stick and how they utilize their storage. I'm gonna share with you all three of those ways to improve this immediately, right now, completely free. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna get into all three right now. Let's get right to the meat of it, guys. There's three things that take up a lot of internal storage that a lot of people don't realize. The first one being cash. Cash is something that you need to clear on a regular basis. If you don't know what cash is, I'll get into that a little bit further in the video. Second thing is getting rid of unwanted apps or hog apps like Cody or ones you don't use that you downloaded, you just kept on there. So I'm gonna show you also how to delete those. The third thing is the APK installers. Example, you downloaded an app, then you opened the app. Well, the installer file that takes up valuable space is still on your drive. Normally when you install or when I install an app, I'll hit done, go back, delete the installer, then open the application because it takes up valuable storage that never goes away. Even if you delete the app, the APK installer is still on your Fire Stick. And over time, if you've installed 20 or 30 apps, there's all your storage right there. So let's get into the first one, cash. What is cash exactly? Well, cash is basically a collection of data that is stored on your device to make processes run a little bit faster. Well, on a Fire Stick with the processor that's on it, it's not necessary. And it really doesn't improve your performance much at all. In fact, if anything, it hinders you because it takes up your storage. Let's talk about cache and where you can find it on your Fire Stick. So cache can be found in your settings section under applications. So let's take a look. Head all the way up to the top and over to settings. Once you've done that, head on down here and this is all the different categories in your settings section. What you're gonna wanna go to is your application. So when you go to applications, your cache can be found down here in the manage installed applications. Now I want you to pay close attention to one number because as I go through these steps, you're gonna see some improvements on my Fire Stick and you should on yours as well. The number you wanna pay attention to is the available storage space. This is internal storage, not external. I have an external drive as well. On another video, I'll show you how to get an external drive on your Fire Stick to increase it. But for internal storage on this video, we're at 492 megabytes. My goal in this video is to get it over a gig. I will probably do better than that. So what I did with my Fire Stick is I played a bunch of programs, didn't clear the cache like I normally do. I installed a couple apps on here that I don't even want. And then I uninstalled and installed a bunch of stuff. Why did I do that? Because I wanted to show you the APK installers, which I'm going to show you later. So let's talk about cache and how to get it off and improve this number right here. Remember 492. Now let's get on to it. Manage installed applications. Let's open it right up. Once you open it up, all these apps will actually store cache. A lot of them do. And as you go through, you can actually see how much this cache is used. Now I haven't opened this one. The ones you haven't opened aren't going to have cache. It's the one you use on a regular basis will have the most cache. Let's on, head on down here. Haven't used that. Haven't used that haven't used that. There we go. There's the app store and it takes up a little bit. Let's clear that out. Clear cache and you'll see it went down to nothing. Now some apps apps do require 12k just to run so it's going to show a little bit there but that's not very much at all. Next one there's 76. Let's just go ahead and clear out all of these that have some. None on that. This one has quite a bit so let's clear that. I've been using that a little bit. All right, I really quickly went through each one. Now it takes a little bit of time to click on each one and clear out that cache. But once you get these all to zero, check this out. Now when I go back, I've now got almost a whole gig, 0.97 just by doing the cache. Now the second thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to go through your applications and see which ones you don't want. Some applications take up a lot. I would not recommend putting Cody on your Fire Stick. If you have it and you love it and you still have plenty of space and it's running okay, great, use it, fantastic. But to a new user, it could definitely hinder your performance on your Fire Stick. So I don't have Kodi on my device, and there's, it's not necessary at all with the applications I have, but let's find an application that we don't need anymore on your Fire Stick, and we'll delete it and see if that makes a little bit of a difference. All right, so I'll just do CyberFlix. You can always put CyberFlix back on. It's actually a pretty decent app, but let's go ahead and delete it, see if we can get over that one gig mark that's so, so, so important. All you need to do, guys, real quick, just click on it, 
head on down to uninstall. There's other ways to uninstall it, but since you're already in here doing the cache, this is the easiest way to do it. Go ahead and hit uninstall. Yes, definitely. It'll start the uninstall process. Doesn't take much time at all. Now it's uninstalled. Hit the back button. We just went over a gig. So now our Fire device, whether it's a TV or a stick or a cube, is going to run a lot better because we have at least one gigabyte available space. One gig. Now, once you've done that, the most important thing is the next step. Guys, the next step is the ES File Manager where you can delete those APK installers. If you've installed 30, 40, 50 apps on your Fire device over the years, but you've deleted the apps, guess what? Those installers are still on there. They're still on there unless you delete them off. So let's get right into that right now. All right, so this application is going to allow you to see what is taking up all the space on your storage device. Now there's a free version and a premium version, and then there's also a pro version. Another video on the pro version because the pro version is completely free and you can actually increase the storage by doing something like this right here with a cable that will let basically split your fire stick to allow a USB which can be plugged right in and now you just increase storage of your fire stick. So that's what the pro version will do. That's completely free. Then there's the regular one that I'm going to share with you today that you can do things like delete those installer files that are hidden in the background and see what else is on your fire stick that's taking up space. Maybe you have TV Mate which is a great app right here and you've been downloading some things, some recordings and you forgot to delete them. That will take up space as well. So remember last time I checked I was at 1.01 available storage space on this. So I'm going to see if I can improve that by going into what's called ES File Explorer Manager. Okay, again, there's the regular version, the premium, which is $10 a month, and then the pro one, which is free, that will allow you to increase storage. So if you have used this before to try to increase storage and you were using the premium version for $10 a month, you don't need to do that, guys. I have another video on that, so check that out. So let's get right into this. How do you delete those installers? Let's say that you just downloaded Sterling TV right here, okay? And you don't need the installer anymore. There's no reason to have the installer anymore because you already have the application. So let's go ahead and do it. First thing you need to do, and I'm gonna go a little bit slower on this part because it's important that everybody has one of these. Head to the top, go to the left, to the search, okay? And you're gonna type in ES file explorer which if you just put es it should be one of the ones at the bottom okay so let's go ahead and click that and install it on your device right now when you open it up as you can see there's all kinds of different file explorers this is the one you're going to want right here okay so let's go ahead and open it up all right now you're going to go to the install process you will need an amazon account to download this but it's completely free sign up for it online and make sure it is linked to your fire stick your fire stick runs a lot better if you have an amazon account anyway so let's go ahead and download it all right so i went ahead and downloaded it let's go ahead and open it right up when you first open it up, it's going to ask you to agree for permissions. You're going to need to do that every single time that you install anything on your device. You definitely will have to accept permissions. If it's a concern and you've read through it and you don't feel comfortable with it, delete the app, go on to the next one. But they won't work properly unless you agree to all permissions on all apps that you download on a Fire device. So again, do you want them to have access to your photos, media, and files? You have to say allow. Think about it. What is this doing? It's looking into your device and trying to find out what what you have on your device to help you with your storage problem so it needs access to that so let's go ahead and hit allow all right first thing it's going to say is do you want to do a free trial do you want to pay for it guys go to the top to the x right there hit that it's just gone okay a lot of people think you have to pay because you opened it up and that's what it said you had to do but you don't guys so as you can see this will analyze my system it says we have 82 percent internal storage maxed so this is how much we're using right here. There's a few features on here that do require the premium. The Analyze, the Cleaner, both require the premium version. So we're not going to use that on here. The Pro version that is completely free that I'll share on another video, you can do those things with it. And they're great services, and I definitely recommend getting that Pro version as well. But on this video, we're just gonna show you on the free version that comes built into your Fire Stick. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you need to find out where on here 
is this storage? What, where's, what's taking up all of this internal storage? Well, head down here and all of these things, let's say you downloaded music, movies, apps, images, all this will be posted in the first four. Those are the ones we're gonna focus on today. So let's look at music first. I have no music. I've downloaded no music on my device. So let's go back and let's check out movies. Oh, I actually have two things on here, two videos. What are these videos? Well guys, these videos here came on my video for TV Mate. These are actually TV Mate recordings. These are, if you've used the TV Mate feature where you can download things to your Fire Stick, things that you're like live TV, then this is where they're gonna be stored. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to clear these out. How do you clear them out? All you need to do is hold the center button on your remote down for three seconds. All right, now that it's done like that, you have to go down and click the other one. Now that both of these are clicked, all you need to do is head over to the left, scroll down, and then over to delete. It says, are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Now we've just cleared that out. So hit the back button on your remote and you're gonna go to the next section, okay? Now they're gonna be in your, it does, you won't notice it right here, right off the bat, because it's actually in the recycle bin. We'll have to clear that out as well and I'll show you how to do that later. So let's go to apps. This is the most important part and the reason why, if you click apps, these are all your user apps. And it will actually show you, if you open them up, what the full storage of each, what how much is it taking up of your storage space, but we already looked at that on our manage installed applications. So where you wanna go on this is right here to user apps. Click on that and go down to all APKs. Now the APKs are the installer files. And here's all the installer files. I wanted to leave some on my device so that you could see what yours might look like. And yours might even be bigger than this. These need to be cleared out. There's the pro version, by the way, if you wanna see it, the modded pro version. I'll show you how to get that on another video. But let's go through here and let's take a look at all of these things. So let's, let's get rid of the APKs and see how that affects it. So if you hold down again that center button, it will pull these up just like it did before and let's just clear all of these out. We don't need the APK installers anymore. We have these apps already on our Fire device. So let's just clear them all out. Now leave this one on here because I'm going to use the APK to reinstall it on my device because I'm doing another video that will be on my channel in the next few days about increasing storage, a new updated version of increasing storage. So I'm gonna leave that on there, but I delete everything else. Again, head over here, scroll down, move over, delete. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just not put it in the recycle bin because I'm not gonna save them. So hit okay and they're all gone. Now when you hit back, look at this, now I'm down 75% just like that. So how about that guys? We just increased our storage significantly just by deleting those installer files that do nothing for you. Now the, another thing is if you downloaded some, let's say pictures on here, <clears throat> your images will be located here. I don't have any on there, so I don't have that issue. Most of your issues are gonna be in the downloader, uh, either the apps, or it's gonna be in the movies for the DVR. That's where most of your storage is going to be. This is completely free, guys. Again, when you first open it up, you have to go to the X in the corner or you're gonna be buying the premium version, which is not something that I would recommend doing for $10 a month. There's really no need for it. There's other apps that do the same features that this does completely free. But to be able to see those installers, this is the program you're gonna to wanna to use. All right, before I get off this screen, I didn't need to have the recycle bin. I just wanted to show you the recycle bin and how to access it, and how to clear things if you did save something to a recycle bin. All you need to do is go to the left-hand column here, scroll down to where it says recycle bin. You'll see them over here. All you need to do is the same thing. Just hold on to it and then click the other one as well. And then head on down here to delete. It'll say it cannot be restored. That's fine, okay. Now when we go here, we're at 74%. Guys, we're getting better and better and better. And we didn't delete anything other than one app on our Fire Stick. We cleared our cache, deleted only one app on our Fire Stick, and we got rid of those installer files and a couple little things that I recorded in DVR. Now when you go home and get off of this program, if you go over to your settings and you go to applications, you go to your manage installed applications. Guys, 1.36 gig out of 5.28 is perfectly fine. It's gonna run great. And I have tons of apps on here that I can use for anything you can imagine. Free movies, free TV. Uh, I've got on-demand TV. I've got live streaming TV. I've got paid IPTVs on here. I've got 
everything you could ever imagine on a fire stick and i still have over a gig guys if you don't have at least one gig on your fire stick then there's some things that i shared in this video that will be able to help you and i hope that you take this to heart and you do some of the things i shared with you even if it's just one or the other not all three it will still improve the performance of your amazon fire stick and give you a little bit more space hope you enjoyed the video make sure you check out my other videos as well where i teach you how to increase storage on your fire stick give it a thumbs up if you like the video thanks for taking time to watch our videos appreciate you thank you I just want to give a big thank you to those of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. If you'll do us a huge favor, if you haven't already done so, just hit that subscribe button right next door. And if you like this video and you want to see more, we have a video on the far side there we think you're going to love. Thanks again for watching our video. 